morning, good morning. It's October the 1st. Uh, fixing to get into Alexandria, Louisiana. Um, gonna go and ins install a Heil dry charge condenser on a barge uh, at a Pine Bluff sand and gravel where my mother-in-law works. Um, it's just a big company. Obviously, they do gravel and all that by the name. And I'm going to give you all a shot of this here. We're not. We're in Pineville, Louisiana. Now we are in Alexandria. That's the Red River. That's what separates Pineville and Alexandria. And then right here, this is downtown Alexandria. It's not much to see. Um, I don't even know if y'all can see that very good, but there's not much to Alexandria. Um, but, and we're fixing to pull up at the Heil distributor to pick up our condenser. Um, but, uh, yeah, what it is is that this is an old barge that's pretty beat up. You know, it's, uh, it's real beat up. And now it, it, it can't take the load of having uh, sand or gravel on it no more because it's so beat up. So they just, they put an office on it. And it's like a job site office now. And they just set the barge and... That's where the supervisor sits and does his paperwork and all that good stuff. And um, They cut the condenser loose from the line set. Never capped the copper or anything like that. They just left it exposed. And then the condenser was submerged underwater. So it got, they didn't close the valves or nothing. So all that water got in inside the condenser. And they wanted me just to hook the condenser up, just to rehook this condenser. And I told him I wasn't going to do that because it's not going to work. And so we're going to swap out the condenser and we're going to swap out and we're going to take the line set out and replace the line set. <laughs> and uh, I told him that's the only way to do it. That's the right way to do it or it's not going to work properly. And uh, they agreed to it. So, you know, they usually don't, uh, they don't question me. My mother-in-law got me that account years ago when me and my wife first met. And, uh... They usually don't question me, but I want to give y'all a shot of this too, y'all. This is the bad part of Alexandria. I mean, this this is run down, run, run down right here. And there's the the inmates are working this morning. But uh, I mean, look at here the graffiti, and this is uh this is just a run down part of uh Alexandria right here. Okay, y'all. Well, we're about to pull up the Heil distributor. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, pulling up the Heil distributor. This is just a local company. No big, uh, nothing not like that. Just a real local company. Good people. Real good people. Okay, y'all. All right, guys. We're about to pull up here to our barge. Pine Bluff Sand and Gravel. Let me get right here. Pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. It's our office on our barge. There's the Red River, and that's where we're putting the air in. Well, I mean, it's got air. We're just swapping out the condenser, like I explained to y'all earlier. So, uh, and we'll get started. This sh it should be fun. Y'all stick around. All right, we got our little dry nitrogen pile here which is actually comes with a Maratherm sticker. And uh, it was bought at the Heil distributor. I'm, uh, I put a one just like this, a Maratherm, which I bought at the Arco Air distributor on the office for this place, which is over there. And they were, they like it. They have a lot of good things to say about it. So. do. Plus, uh, my Heil distributor just started handling Heil again. They had got rid of it, and they were going to handle nothing but Duquesne, and that didn't work out. Uh, they had some complaints, and uh, they weren't too happy with the Duquesne, so they started handling Heil again. And they're good people. They're good to me. 
dad's been knowing them for over 30 years. So give them a little business here and there on stuff like this. But when it comes to my regular change outs and stuff, we're going to stick with train. And, uh, but I'll give them a little business here and there for people like this. Like these people here at Pine Bluff, they don't give a crap what you put. I could have put a TV over here and they wouldn't have said nothing. But I'm not going to do that to them. So what I'm doing now is, is obviously I'm fitting up my uh, copper to the condenser to braze. And if you, uh, Zach, uh, hint, hint, buddy, and any other ICP dealers out there, whether you're selling Arco or Comfort Maker Heil, whatever, Tempstar, the dry units don't come with a dryer like the uh, 10 units do. you got to buy your own. For you, Zach, and any other ICP dealers out there. So let me get to fit, finish fitting this up and get back to y'all. All right, here's a pretty view of the Red River, guys. There's a tugboat. Now he's got a barge hooked up to him. It looks like he's about to latch on to that barge. Here's our office we're working on. I'll, I'll get y'all a peek in there in just a minute, but you can see some of it. And there, this is it. This is pretty cool. This is fun. This is different for me. I enjoy crap like this. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish bending up my copper. All right, got everything fitted up to brace. Got uh. Getting the vacuum prepared with some of this good stuff here. Mr. Zach turned me on to that. It's sad though, none of my supply houses around here had it. I had to order it online. It's ridiculous. Got the core removers. guys I hope y'all enjoyed it um, it's been a fun one for me that's for sure all right guys another one bites the dust it was fun I hope y'all enjoyed the video uh, it was a lot of fun for me something different I'll take care thanks for watching guys